Hey everyone, this is Cameron. And I'm Victoria. So we just finished camping for a week on the shore of Lake Powell at Lone Rock Campground. It was probably one of my top three favorite campsites ever. Absolutely amazing. You can back your trailer right up to the water, almost, and literally have the waters of Lake Powell right outside your door. It was spectacular. Right, so we took a bunch of really awesome paddles while we were in the area on our paddle boards. We're gonna show you those here in the video and also give you some details on how to get to Antelope Creek, which is a really great paddle that takes you up to Antelope Canyon where you can then ditch the paddle board or the kayak and start hiking. Yeah, and it's pretty cool. The sandstone's very similar to the really famous Antelope Canyon, um, but this is open and it's totally free to go. So definitely check it out if you're in the area. So watch on for more details and check out what we were up to. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We're gonna be posting more videos like this one, uh, destinations, recommendations, and also showing you how we live full time in our 27 foot Airstream with our little Jack Russell Lola. Yep. And um, while you're at it, go ahead and hit, hit the like, book, like button. That really helps us out. And um, let us know in the comments if you like the video, if there's other things you'd wanna see. Thanks so much. All right, we're here at Lone Rock Primitive Camping Area. It says right here. Wait, is that the Lone Rock? Well, that's probably the Lone Rock. <laughs> All right, let's wow. go. <laughs> that's why I married you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna head down to the water and try not to get stuck here in deep sand. Made it, didn't get stuck, it was easy. We just took our first left and went straight for the water. Just gonna cook up some veggies and burgers on the grill and then go for a paddle. We're up for a morning paddle. Uh, we camped over there at Lone Rock Campground last night and uh, it was awesome. And we meant to get a sunrise paddle in, but somebody slept in, I don't know who. So we're here a little bit later, but it's still beautiful and at least it's warm. It's really warm right now, which is nice. Just to give you the lay of the land, we are up there. You can definitely see it gets pretty busy here. It's really not too bad. Not somewhere you come looking for solitude by any means, but um, we're up at kind of the west end of the beach and it stays pretty quiet up there. A lot of the, the motorheads are down there. Overall, it's an awesome site. We really love it. The views are amazing, um, right on the water, and the neighbors are pretty cool. All right, we're almost back. What'd you think? That was awesome. 
It yeah. was super beautiful, perfect weather. Um, Lake Powell's amazing and there's nothing else like it on earth. We're rolling out for an early morning paddle. Normally we're not very good at waking up early in the morning. But this time our little uh, midnight rider Lola woke us up at 5.50. Pre-sunrise. So we're so up. <laughs> we seized the day and we're headed out for a paddle on Antelope Creek. We'll let you know how it goes. But the water's really low right now. Oops. Um, so we can only go about three quarters of a mile up before it stops. And I think earlier this year, what was the water like 20, 30 feet higher? Something like that. Yeah, so yeah. we're just gonna paddle a little ways up and see how far we can get and then start hiking. Yeah. river dries up, the water's too low, so we're just gonna hike up a little ways. Apparently it gets really cool up this way. No idea how far, but we're just gonna start walking and see what we find. Figure it out. Despite not being able to paddle all the way up here, I'd say it's still a really cool hike. Eight out of 10. Eight out of 10? <laughs> Come okay, on. Okay, 10 out of 10. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. It's a 10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's cool about hikes and paddles like this is you look around at the rocks and you feel like your little problems in life, you know, whatever. Like these rocks have been here for oh, millions of years. Oh yeah. And then they just slowly get shaped by the water, you know, and it's cool. You know, Earth is cool. Earth is an awesome planet. And we're just a little blip. Yep, and just experience it and enjoy it. We were just talking about how important it is to get started early. So we got out on the water just after seven and there were, I don't know, what would you say? Several dozen kayaks getting lined up for tours. Yeah, an early tour. Yeah, and so that was just the eight o'clock tour. And then there's another tour that goes out at nine and this whole canyon just gets flooded with people. So this is awesome. I mean, we almost have it to ourselves. It's super quiet. Early bird gets the worm. Early bird gets the worm every time. We've been told when you get to the fork, don't go left. 
go straight. back just gotta go pick up Victoria down at the water with the paddle boards it's about a quarter mile boat ramp because the water's so low I think our trucks a quarter mile times about 14 and a half seconds at 86 miles an hour Let's see what we can hit all right I think we topped out at 18 pretty good pretty good solid performance American engineering. Seven hours later, after launching. So I think we should backtrack. When, how many hours ago did we decide to do this? Um, eight. Eight. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, maybe nine. And so we really didn't have any idea what we're getting ourselves into, but that was probably one of my top three things outdoorsy we've ever done. Like that was, that was super fun. It was a paddle, it was a hike, it was sightseeing, it was yeah, everything. Yeah, just the whole package. It felt really special. Um, I would definitely say go as early as possible. It was a battle coming back. Uh, There's about two foot rollers coming from every direction, it seemed like, from all the power boats that were out there. Yep. And it was really beautiful this morning when the water was glassy smooth and you know you could see the reflection of the walls of the canyon and the water. It was, it was just gorgeous. Yeah, go as early as possible. Go early and um, leave time for the hike there. But highly recommended. Um, let us know if you have any questions. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you liked what you saw. If you did, definitely go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps us out. And don't forget to subscribe. We're going to be posting videos all about our westward travels and full-time Airstream living. And if you have any questions in particular that you want to know about full-time travel or living life out west, feel free to put in the comments below. Uh, we may just make a video about it. We love to hear from you and have any ideas, any ideas you have, please feel free to share them with us. All right, we'll see you next time.